is not yet should be. In any city, in any country, go to any vacant lot you can find. Get as close to the center of it as you can. Shut your eyes tight and yell at the top of your lungs. I wish to see what can be. If nothing happens, then kill yourself. The holder has deemed you unworthy. However, should you hear a whistle, open your eyes. In front of you will be a barren wasteland with no signs of life. Walk in any direction you feel appropriate. After what will feel like an eternity, you will come across a soul river, making the only sound you will hear while in the wasteland, unless you count any you make. Cuff your hands, close your eyes, and drink only once. The water will be the best tasting water you will ever touch. But if you did not heed my warning and drink once more, well, spend the rest of eternity burning from the inside. The water will have the power of sulfuric acid. Death will never be so kind as to claim you. After you drink, if you hear the river stop, you are doomed. You will stay here forevermore, with the only place to quench your thirst forever lost. The water will be taunting you. Dare you drink again? If you continue to hear the river, then wait thirteen seconds before opening your eyes. After the thirteen seconds, when you open your eyes, you should see stones sticking out of the river, continuing on a path outside the river, leading somewhere in the wasteland. Walk on them. Do not step off a single stone, or you will fall into the void filled with horrors you, nor the devil himself, could fathom. After a few hours, days, or weeks, you will come to a stone door. Don't knock. Instead, hold your ear to the door and listen. If you hear the scratching of chalk on the stone door, then enter. Should you hear anything else, opening the door would be unwise. Once you enter, shut the door behind you. You should see a person dressed in tattered robes and a hood drawing something in chalk. You won't see what he draws. You wouldn't want to. It is a picture of what will happen when the objects come together. Walk slowly to him and say, Why is it not? He will then, in a saddening voice, tell you a tale about the horrors all objects can cause, why they are apart. Why they wish to be one again. Why others were destroyed. If you can keep your sanity, say, Should I have been? He will then begin to laugh and take off his robe. Quickly close your eyes tight and hold out your right hand. He will whisper, You are. And drop the robe in your hand. Eyes closed, put the robe on. Open your eyes. You will be in the vacant lot wearing a brand new robe. Check your right pocket. The stick of chalk is object zero of 538. You now hold the ability to see what you shouldn't, see what isn't. Don't let them come together, lest you want to see what the holder was drawing. Zero is a number, but it is not seen as one. You now have the white stick of chalk. Keep it away from the black stick that is yet should not be.